Hi everyone, Kirsten here. I'm a very serious person. Can you tell? I'm in my office and I have work to do. And this is what I look like. I'm a serious professional business person. I own two businesses. I mean, you can tell, can't you? Actually, uh, these I got from uh, Starwood here in Ohio the second week of July, I think it was. And um, I've been home for about a week-ish, and I'm here for about another week and a half before I head out of here for another two plus months, which means I have a list. I have a fun list. Here's part of my list. And here's some more of my list. And then I just, I have lots of lists. I have so many lists. And one thing I have have come to appreciate is central air, sleeping in a bed, and having the bathroom 18 to 24 inches away from my office door. Don't get me wrong, I love being on the road, I really do, but there are some creature comforts of like not having to hoof it 500 to 1,000 feet to find the nearest bathroom or porta potty. Um, I appreciate that. I also appreciate laying in a bed flat and not, now don't get me wrong. My car is very comfortable to sleep in. You, you recline it. I mean, I have, I have a system and it works great, but for my legs, you know, like I said, my, my, my mind and my soul is still in the late twenties, early thirties. The rest of me is not. And so, um, just for health purposes, laying flat at least eight hours is a good idea rather than being upright or reclined. Oh, well, anyway, um, with the fact that I really would rather have, you know, either a B or a C class or, you know, a van, um, something other than living in my car. I can live in my car. I already do that when I go out on the road. But uh, permanent, full-time, it would be nice to have these creature comforts. And uh, so that's going to be part of my delay of becoming a full-time nomad. I really didn't want to have to do another winter in Minnesota, but yeah, here I am. And actually, the good part of that, too, there is a good part, um, being that I'm gone for so many times, my, my calendar is just everywhere. Um I'm looking at a bookshelf right now, full, full wall bookshelf. It's got books on it. And it's got all papers and stacks and things hanging off and clipped to it. And oh my gosh. And that is just an example of what the rest of my house looks like. I have a three bedroom, two bath, tuck under garage, full house. And I have to clean and I have to put stuff in storage. By the way, my storage unit is in Denver. I'm in Minnesota. <laughs> Anywho. Um, it's because I share a Denver or a, a storage locker with my daughter. She's in Denver. Um, I have to throw things away. I have to give things away. I have to sell things. Oh my gosh. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do this winter. Get everything done. And then in the spring, I can hightail out of here. Um, I already have the majority of my summer next year already arranged and uh, just waiting for registrations to open up. On different events. I do like to go to events as you've seen. I hope you've been enjoying the videos that I've been posting so far and I have about seven or eight more videos to post before I head out of here for another couple months in a week and a half. So um, yeah, but what do I do? Um, well, I work a lot when I'm here. I think that's part of why I try to drive away from here as fast as humanly possible because my house is really my home office and I work all the time and so much so that um, I never leave. I, I eat in my office. I drink in my office. And I, I'll tell you, these are really nice because you can fill it all the way up here and you don't have to go down to the kitchen so many times to refill. Um, I catch up on all of the YouTube channels that I subscribe to. And weirdly enough, I think I subscribe to like 263 of them because, yeah, whatever. Um, I do enjoy 
watching everyone else's videos. Actually, I enjoy the YouTube rabbit hole a lot more than the streaming services that I pay for, which is a whole other thing I've got to check into um, because I'm probably paying for things I don't watch. Uh, anyway, so there you go. But the first one I'm watching right now, and all oh, the screen just went off, um, the Campulence Man. He is one of my favorite uh, channels that I like to watch. He's got full of information. Um, and he posts quite often, and I try to post often too, but if I'm out on the road and I don't have my editing equipment with me, that's also part and parcel of why I want a bigger rig than just my car. Um, so then you get like this video dump, and then I disappear for another two months, and then you get another video dump. So there you go. Um, got stickers from uh, him, and oops, I got a sticker of Lefty. Cute little pup. And, um, yeah, weirdly enough, at my age, now these are other stickers that don't belong, but um, I've been collecting them. I never thought at my age I would be collecting stickers, but here I am. Um, and the reason I haven't put them anywhere is I'm waiting till I get my full-time rig, and then I'll put them in there. Um, uh, I like what... I think he goes by the name of Chrome. It's Van City Van Life, something like that. He... He rides around. He's having tranny problems right now, right now up in Canada. Um, he's one of the guys that I follow. And then I've got this sticker, and it matches my outfit. This was not planned, by the way. But um, I like what he does with stickers. He puts them all over the inside of his rig. And that's something that I want to do with those. So I'm collecting stickers. Oh, uh, Let's see. So we're going to find something to eat right now. Um, then I'm going to do more video work tonight. I want to get these out and before I head off to Iowa in a few weeks or a week and a half. And, um, yeah, a day in the life and it's not that exciting <laughs> for Kirsten. Woo. All right. We'll, uh, we'll see what else we can do. Let's go get some food. That mess right there in front of my car is just an example of the stuff I need to sort through and clean up and throw away and sell and give away and store and oh my gosh, I have a lot of work to do. Anyway, let's go get some food. The most steady shot, that's for sure. All right, we are getting to the most important part of Walmart right here. This is the most important part. Oh, good, they are open. Or are they open? Oh my god, are they not open? Uh oh, things could get ugly real fast. It says open. Maybe I'm... Uh-oh. Okay, well, the important part of Walmart, right there. Let's go see if it's open. I got, uh... It's watching me. Is it not open? It looks very dark in there. <gasps> they are open! Oh my gosh! Hello! How are ya? Still up right. <laughs> uh, we're gonna see if you have what I'm looking for. Uh, maybe, maybe. Oh, rum chata. <laughs> Yum. Kahlua. Uh, uh oh. Bailey's. Bailey's is good. I think. Yeah, I don't need anything down here. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Oh, that's the bottle, just like that, with the... Okay. Stop playing with all the items, Kirsten. All right, well, I'm not seeing much slide. There's margaritas and wine and more wine. Oh, I was really looking forward to that mudslide. 
and more wine. I'm not gonna drive around the city looking for that though. Hmm. We've got, <sighs> we got Carolyn, so we could do that, I suppose. Oh, duh, it's right there. Kalua mudslide. Hot damn. There you go. Blend that with ice. Yum. All right. Dinner time. Let's go get some food. Mm. Hello. All right. You know, I've been home for uh, about a week and a half now, and all I seem to do is come here. I've gone nowhere else. I went to the gas station yesterday. I thought I'd get gas, but there you go. All right, so we're going to do a steak bowl. Yeah, just me. Um, I'll just do one spoonful of white rice. Yep, that's perfect. Oh, that's a lot, but okay, well, all right. Take a little out, please. Yeah, thanks. All right, uh, two scoops of steak. Is that steak? Is that steak? Is that steak? Oh, I'm like, that's the wrong container for the steaks. It tells you how often I've been here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll do uh, medium queso. Uh, I'll take a little. I'll take a little more of that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll do the green. Uh, I'll do two scoops of pico. Uh, two scoops of corn. Two scoops of whatever that green stuff is. Yeah, it's a double steak. Uh, cilantro. Uh, two scoops of sour. You can see why I don't have as much rice because I have tons of condiments. Yeah. Um, to go, I'll do cheese. I'm, I'm going to go with it. Yeah. No. Uh, lots of onions, lots of jalapenos. And you can squish it in there. It doesn't have to look pretty. You know, where it's going, it's not going to look pretty. So, yeah, it doesn't have to look pretty. Um, and then I'll take a little more jalapenos and two scoops of guac. Yeah, I got to start on my chest hair, you know. I got to keep yeah. onions and jalapenos. It keeps people away from you. Apples keep doctors away. This keeps people away. It works really slick. All right, thank you. All right, and I will, t I'm gonna take a brownie just in case. All right, we are back from uh, my tour about town, which it wasn't very much because I went to the liquor store and I went to Qdoba. All right, <clears throat> one thing Kirsten can make in a kitchen, because it isn't a lot. Ice, well, I didn't make the ice, I bought the ice. It's already melting. Okay. And my purchase. Oh, now you're seeing how big my kitchen is. Well, put it this way: I live in a house. I live with uh, two of my kids. They're in their early twenties, and uh, they have friends over. And they, you know, it's a house. It's a house that is occupied. So um, there you go. Anyway, and Kalua. So. Um, it's not horrifically messy in here, but um, no, I'm not going to spend my time cleaning because then I don't have a lot of time because I'm rarely over here. And when I am here, I have work to do and I see I should not. Hold, oh, please. I have to. Hold, uh, oh, please. Ah! Okay, I'm back. Ah, uh, all right. Yeah, a lot of, I don't have a lot of time and I have lots and lots and lots of stuff to do, so... There you go. Whoops. Ow, ow. Okay, so we are putting the ice in the blender. I bet you can figure out how to make this recipe, don't you? You guys are pretty smart. I have smart viewers. Um, okay, so I'm making a mess, is what I'm doing. I have the ice jammed in there. All right, let's mix this. So, if you like chocolate and rum and ice, This is a good recipe. Um, okay. 
Yum, 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 yum. Oh, I'm, I put a lot of ice in here. Oh my gosh. You know, it's one thing I can make in the kitchen. All you have to do is hit frappe. I do not think I'm going to be drinking all of this. Oh my gosh. Well, my kids will be home. I bet they'll want some. Okay, now we're going to hit frappe. Oh, it doesn't have frappe. Hold on, please. <laughs> I used to have a blender that had a bunch of little, um, like eight or nine keys on it, you know, frappe and all the rest of it. And I'd play Mary Had a Little Lamb. It amused me. Um, probably not really good for the motor, but you know, there you go. Maybe that's why I don't have it anymore. Anyway. <laughs> It's like a rum shake or a chocolate rum shake. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could use more ice. Should I get more ice? Mm. Oh. More ice. Yum, yum. Oh, I'm making a mess and dropping ice. See, now if I were in my car, I can do this. I mean, I could go buy some fruity blended thing in the restaurant, but I couldn't make this. So that's why I need, see if that's my argument, that's why I need a rig of some sort so I can have a blender and I can have my office and I can have my editing equipment and I can lay flat. So there you go. That's what I need. Okay, we're going to hit frappe again. <laughs> Chunks. There's chunks in there. Okay, I need something to fix this up. Yep, my kids went shopping. All the, all the groceries are on the counter there. Oh, yeah. It was good. Mm. Ow. All right. Do movie cups multiply at your house? They multiply at my house. And then, of course, you feel bad if you throw them away because then, you know, you're throwing away a movie cup that isn't going to biodegrade anytime soon. Uh, this is for the Black Panther. And you can tell it's getting through the dishwasher a number of times. came out on February 16, 2018. That's like five years ago. Anywho, movie cups multiply. Hmm. I can't begin to tell you the last time I went to a movie. It's been a while. I wanted to go this weekend, but then I remembered, oh yeah, I only have a week and a half left here before I hit the road again. I don't want to make any big mess. I got a little leftover. It's like the <coughs> the malt and the tin kind of thing. Hold, please. I don't want to waste anything. Waste not, want not. Right? That's the story. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Could be an interesting night of editing tonight. Whole movie cup of chocolate rum. Could be interesting. I know. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's this way. So, <clears throat> for more good recipes, Kahlua, mudslide, and ice. And you too can be happy on a hot summer's day. There are more condiments in that refrigerator. I don't know when they were purchased, when they were last used. Ew. Uh -huh. I'm going to leave that down there. Go up and edit this video. Get it posted. Cross one more thing off my list. Actually, it wasn't on my list. It's just something I came up with before I left the house. Here's my food for the night. It's 
pretty much the food for the day. I did have some peaches earlier, but uh, I'm at my office, or at my desk. Ooh, look at all that good stuff. And now I'm going to make a mess. Here we go. Really? Oh my gosh, here it goes. Here goes the gouache. Okay, we're making a mess, but doesn't that look good? And I'm going to eat that, my Americanized Mexican food, with my Kahlua shake for champions, and then get back to work. All right, I'm going to go watch YouTube now. Bye.